Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of tryhotme.com. Uh, and yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn, show you how to complete pre security learning path and a reset intro to LAM room. So it's part of network fundamentals. I strongly recommend uh, reading through the test because this is a refresher for me and I'm studying networking plus. So you can actually watch a YouTube uh, clip that they have embedded, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to answer these questions quickly. And as always, I strongly recommend read through the test. So let's get right into it. Task one, introduction to land topologies. So there's a practical, but let's answer the questions below. What does LAN stand for? I should read through it. It should be local area network. Right. What is the verb given to the job that routers perform? Hint, this, this, this is the term given to deciding what route package should take. It's routing. I want to make sure. Okay, cool. That you can see my face clearly. Let's try again. All right. Next question: What device is used to centrally connect multiple devices on a router? I mean, on a local network and transmit data to the correct location. Something smarter than a hub and a repeater. As you read through the task, it's going to indicate a switch. What topology is cost efficient to set up? And then question hints. As you see from the visual diagram, you kind of concluded that it's a bus topology because it's point A to point B. What well, topology is expensive to set up, maintain, hint. And again, by looking visually, it's the star. Show the star. And then the last one, complete the interactive lab attached to the task. What is the flag given at the end? All right, let's do the split screen. Topology flaws, this lab will take you through the flaws in different network topologies. The ring topology, all devices are connect a connector to two others to create a full circle. Packets of data travel from one device to the next until they have reached their destination. One of the major flaws with the ring topology is that if a device goes down or a cable is broken, then data will no longer be passed. You hover over the middle of the network cable. You can cut it and see what happens to the packets. Let's cut. All right, looks like no more data. The packets can now no longer travel around the network and no device can talk to each other. All right, let's go to the next one. Bus technology. All devices are connected to a single cable, often called the backbone. Data is sent from in both left and right direction down the backbone until the packet's destination is reached. A major flaw in the bus topology is that it can it can't handle a large amount of data. On the next step, send as many packets as quickly as possible. You can try to take down the network. All right, let's see computer one. Let's try computer two, two, three, and. Oh wait, send packet. There you go. Bus network is now is down. Star Star technology. All devices are connected with their own cable to a central switch and hub. Every packet is sent through the switch, which means if the switch goes down, the network will no longer work. So you can break the switch. The network is down. All right. Got our answer. That's pretty fun. 
exit the split view and let's go to task two, a primer for on subnetting. So the question is, what is the technical term for dividing a network up into smaller pieces? As you read the first paragraph, subnetting is the term. I'm just going to highlight and submit. Correct. How many bits are in a subnet mass? As you read through the task, it says subnet mass. Well, there's a hint. It says this converted into four bytes. So four bytes converted is 32 bits. There we go. What is the range of a section octet of subnet mass? It says pin from smallest to largest. It's actually as you read through the paragraph, there's a range from 0 to 255. So it's going to copy and paste. There we go. And then next question is what address is used to identify the start of a network? Hint something address. As you read through this table right here, it should be network address. Then next question, what address is used to identify the devices within a network? Hint, as we do it, is host. And obviously the last one, what is the name used to identify the device responsible for sending data to another network? And it's the last one, default gateway. All right, let's go to task three, the ARP protocol, or stands for address resolution protocol. Oh, there you go. What does ARP stands for? As we read through the task, it's address protocol. So technology allows, ooh, responsible for allowing devices to identify themselves on the network. And what category, next question, what category of ARP packet asks the device whether or not it has a specific IP address? And as you read through it, it should be request because it's asking, right? The keyword is asking. Yeah. And next question is what address is used as a physical identifier for a device on a network, hence something address. So as you get familiar uh, your, yourself with uh, address, physical usually is Mac. Right here. That's correct. And the last one is what address is used as a logical identifier for a device on a network, hint. And obviously it's talking about Mac. So the next one is IP address. There you go. Let's go next one, task four, DHCP protocol, dynamic host configuration protocol. So Question is, what type of DHCP packet is used by device to retrieve an IP address? Hint, DHCP something. As you see this visual diagram, it's probably the first one, right? DHCP discover. Next question is, what type of DHCP packet does a device send once it has been offered an IP address by the THCB server hints, same thing. So it's already offered. So the next one is DHCP requests. And finally, what is the last DHCP packet that's sent to a device from a DHCP server? Request is the last step is DHCP ACK, which stands for Acknowledge. Right. That's cool.
and then task five continue your learning OS OSI model all right there you go guys completed the, the room you can share on Twitter Facebook and LinkedIn as I already share on LinkedIn and um, as always guys I strongly recommend to read through all this task so you understand the fundamentals of networking um, just a little bit about myself I have no IT experience yet I'm not in the industry but this is something I have strong interest in learning and currently I'm studying networking plus this will be my last certification for the year maybe because I am brain fried so but currently I am actively certified in IFT plus A plus CYSA plus pen test plus and security plus I studied this all on my off time and my own money and I'll probably make videos to show you guys how I complete these um, certification and pass these certification on my own anyways guys if you like this video please give a thumbs up hit the like button and uh, comment below uh, tell me how to improve these videos and hopefully uh, it's helpful for you guys and um, thanks for watching guys